You have a connection that's fighting off fear when it comes to you. This person deeply cares about you and the small amount of time that you have met each other. They don't know if you feel exactly the same way and they're also like, I don't want to come off as desperate. So there is right now a sense of maybe you guys being in form of separation or just not talking as much as you used to. What I see from this dynamic is spirit is definitely saying this person's good for you. You're not used to somebody like this. And I'm not calling them perfect, but if the energy of this reading is aligning with you and you're not making anything fit, remember that. Spirit doesn't want you to walk away from this connection. They don't want you to make assumptions. Part of you, some of you here have made assumptions that when this person just continued to get to know you and the beautiful facts about you that you only share with people who are deserving and have, you know, spent some time in your life, it would change everything. Well, here's the thing. The more they find out about you, it is changing everything for the better. This person already unconditionally cares about you and it's forming into more. But if you get in the, the way of your own fruition, if you avoid the signs and making those jumps of being comfortable with being uncomfortable for further growth, there could be a lot of stagnation that leads into this. Spirit's not telling you to feel forced or pressured to make decisions, but you have to notice when they're saying, hey, we're giving you a green light to run. Like, we're giving you a green light to jog or even run in some situations with this person and not run away, meaning running towards with my whole, like, marathon analogy. Sometimes slow and steady wins the race. There's a whole part of it where you do slow and steady wins the race. Then about halfway through, you're going to start jogging a bit. Then you're going to take some back and forth times, but there's going to be a point where you really start running. When you're like, I've, I've been utilizing my energy correctly and this is that last thrall, you know? And there's just some energy within this dynamic that spirits wanting you to still take your jogging pace, but realize that whatever is in front of you has been presented right now for a reason. So let's dive a little bit into your psyche if you will and see what's keeping you in this um this state of letting fear or paranoia make you very callous all right so there's been plenty of people in the past that you've made that jump that leap of faith for you've burned your money into other people you've burned your time you've burned physical mental spiritual emotional effort but Something about your recent, in the recent years energy, you, you kind of became uh, able to slip out of feeling so trapped by love. Okay, you've, you, you used to be a deeply hopeless romantic person, and I'm not saying you're not anymore, but there's like a grounding energy with you when it comes to love now. There's, there has to be a balance of, of what I like to call as the realistic fairies, fairy tale. There has to be a balance of knowing you're not going to just assume because there's people around you that have basic relationships or have just settled that that's what you're going to do in love. But also there can't be this magicalness of just everything's perfect. And you guys know what I'm trying to say. There has to be a balance. That's what realistic fairy tale, realistic knight in shining armor and etc. is. There is this energy about you that you still continue to take the leap of faith and love, but you just had so many times it didn't work that your brain chemistry is like almost wired to once this step happens, they go away and we're starting again. But here's the thing. This person's not going. There has been an energy of wanting to make everything happen for a reason. They have gone back and forth and saying, does this person think I'm too big of a, a burden to carry? Meaning them to you. Was I too much? Was I too exciting? Like, 
did I not control myself? Did I come off as overwhelming? There's so much miscommunication between you two. This person took a lot of like, it, they really think they've done something to make you believe they're not good for you. But that's, that's the exact opposite of actually what you feel. You see, this person still wants to make everything happen for a reason. They're at peace with fate about the connection with you because it's like any time they um, try to pull away and tell themselves that this isn't going to happen, it's like spirit brings in their fucking face so much synchronizations. And the value these synchronizations hold on them, they've never really experienced before. I'm not saying they're not a spiritual person. I'm not saying they haven't dived into certain things, but something about your connection has awoken them. Okay? You've awakened with a, you know, a lot of people in this world. And this is somebody that truly is like, can see that too. They, they can feel all of this hurt you've been through, but you still are just this strong and confident source. They can see how many people you've poured your cup into. They put themselves in your shoes. That's why they give so much understandance. This person really cares about you. And they're kind of at peace with fate. They're really at peace with fate with however long this takes, to be quite frank. They're just kind of like, I'm just going to go with this. Because something's different. As we speak, they see you as complete inspiration. You guys know me. Okay? When I see those red flags, those beige flags, or sometimes that intensity of saying red flags is can even be too much. But everything is situational. Whenever I see, of course, the red flags, the beige flags, but also just those those things that you need to know. Those those little moments, those nuggets of knowledge, or hey, they're still battling this and etc. Or hey, there is a little bit of this of uh, a back and forth of wondering if they should intertwine in your life. I'm telling you, that's not happening with this person. Whoever's in front of me, and you haven't been making this fit and you've been flowing with this reading, they don't have a doubt that they want you in their life. I feel this person could even be ready. Go with me here. Don't jump to conclusions. Their energy is like ready to like be with you, like official, but their human self, their, their, intu their, their intuition says that this is somebody you will end up with. Okay? But their human self knows it still has to take time. You've heightened their spiritual abilities. They do not plan on going anywhere unless you become a complete opposite version of yourself, or the monster version of yourself. Letting fear and paranoia dictate your decision making. Spirit wants you to know staying away at this point is not hermit mode where it means going inwardly to to look at your introspective and seek only wise, mature advice, etc. It's not, so, sometimes we go into self-isolation to reflect, to grow for shadow work, etc. But there's a line that's getting crossed where it goes from self-isolation to self-exile, okay? And they don't want you to exile from this person's life. They want you to know no matter if they're in and out of your life, if you let how everything in your past was control how you treat people now and see love now that's when you actually lose control when you have faith and trust and you continue to do leaps of faith that's when you have more control than you can ever realize i know it sounds contradictory but that's the law of attraction they want you to throw away fear What I'm hearing is that you can hurt this person. There's something about that too. Part of you, some of you here, collective takes what resonates, but part of you here could have even pulled yourself away from them because you were like, I don't want to hurt them. I can see how much this person likes me. I can see how pure their heart is. Do I have my little bit of paranoias and fears? Of course, but like I'm afraid I would hurt them. This is a grown adult. You communicate, you give your truth what you want from this dynamic, what your healthy boundaries are in this dynamic, the pace you need in this dynamic. They're going to 
they're going to listen. This is a grounded person. And what Spirit's really stating from here. Is that this person doesn't want to have you in shackles. They're not going to twist your words. The thing that's going to keep you imprisoned. Is assuming how the timeline will go. Versus focusing on today what the signs are stating. And Spirit's saying you don't, you don't have to. To even know if you want to be with this person, you can just, you can feel the connection. Be very honest that, hey, I like this. I think you're great. But I'm nowhere near ready to be in a relationship with anybody. So we can continue to get to know each other, but I really need you to know where, where my mind is. And I don't want to hurt you. But also, I feel like it's hurting us not seeing where this can go. And this will go well. It's all about not letting fear and anxiety truly paint a picture for you. That's not even happening in this reality, okay? Sometimes your fear and your anxiety, your paranoia, your parasite will paint a picture of something that could happen to you in one of your lower timelines. If you weren't doing the work you're doing, if you weren't reflecting, if you weren't in charge of your own emotions and willing to do what you have in this human experience which means human trials and errors but really keeping yourself in check and trying your best every day which is different every day the law of attraction the frequency the timeline you're in those things that your parasite wants you to think can happen can't. They're picking up on a timeline if you completely turn into somebody you weren't. Then how the law of attraction would happen. Long story short, spirit says, let go of fear with this. Communicate. Don't exile yourself. That will lead into messing with the flow of your law of attraction because of how things are give and take. We can't give too much to people, but we can't give nothing either. Every relationship, every dynamic is different. The platonic people, the professional people, the romantic people in your life, you have all different dynamics with them, but every single dynamic in your life has a flow to it. Having a mentor and a teachy, having a parent and a child, having a best friend, best friend, having... Everything is a balanced flow, give and take in you and you learn forms of comfortability and how much you can be your true self with somebody based off of the way they react to things that they don't want to hear or maybe aren't, isn't going to be the most happiest of topics, if you will. Spirit stating that you already can see you guys can... You already definitely can see that this person can push their ego away to see the bigger picture. That's extremely attractive to you. So continue to flow. Don't feel like it's having to turn into speed racers and texting all day and, and seeing each other all the time and blah, blah, blah. Everybody's dynamics are different. But make a conscious effort to show this person that they matter to you and just let everything else go from there. That's what I got for y'all today. I'm going to promote something that I normally do not promote. I don't know why I've never not promoted this, but hey, we start today and it goes forward. So I have another YouTube channel that's specifically made to put my gaming live streams and live stream highlights on. So over on Twitch at Uncle Bronze Official, I stream video games a minimum of three times a week. And every single one of my live streams, I give away a free email tarot reading. So... I record them and the whole live stream I will always end up uploading to YouTube on my other channel which is called Magic Man Uncle Bronze. That is linked in all of my YouTube description uh YouTube video description box and on my uh bio on my YouTube channel. You also can simply type in uh magic man uncle bronze on youtube 
and I would pop up. Currently, I'm in the process of continuing to really start to vamp up and put much more attention, effort, and time and creativity into that channel within itself. It's a whole other part of me. So it's, it's, it's uh, the chill, more aspect of just hanging out, getting to know each other, relaxing, if you will. If you're somebody that enjoys video games or just likes to have something else cool to watch, go ahead and subscribe to my gaming channel, Magic Man Uncle Bronze. I put highlight videos out and the full entire streams. While you're at it, go ahead and follow or subscribe to me on Twitch as well to be notified when the live streams are going on and join us for a chance to win a free emailed tarot reading every single stream. So Uncle Bronze, or so uh, my YouTube channel's name, my second YouTube channel's name, my gaming channel is Magic Man Uncle Bronze, and my Twitch channel's name is Uncle Bronze Official. All linked under the YouTube video description. The YouTube video description box. You get what I'm trying to say. Alrighty guys, that's what I got for y'all today. And I'll see you when I see you.